Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make some super easy DIY bottles for your dollhouse. This is such an easy craft and it really does add something special to the dollhouse. Wait till you see how you do it. So I got these LED uh, plug-in lights uh, at the local dollar store. Um, this box was actually a little bit more expensive than what I should have paid, but oh well, <laughs> I paid five bucks. I got 35 little lights. So, um, and if you pull them out of the socket, this is what you get, a little bottle. And I love the green ones the best because they remind me of little poison bottles, antique poison bottles. Aren't they just precious? And they're absolutely perfect. Like, I just think, wow, how does this get any easier? Now, you can do this also with the glass bulbs. That works as well. I just chose these ones because I kind of like the pattern on them. Now, if you use the glass ones or the plain ones, you can also go on your printer and print some labels and... You could turn them into almost any kind of bottle. I don't know what this fuse thing is, but I didn't throw it out because I thought, oh, well, maybe I can use that. It kind of looks like uh, an egg timer a little bit. I'm not sure, but it's going to go into my box of I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. <laughs> So for those that uh, were really stuck in the socket, I just simply took um, two pairs of pliers and gave it a twist and uh, twisted the little plastic piece out. Now, some of these were so stuck in that I actually crushed them. <laughs> so I ended up ruining three of them, but that's not too bad. So, um, so if you don't like them tall because these are plastic, I've just lit a little beeswax candle over here and uh, I'm just going to take out my trusty X-Acto knife and heat it up under the candle to make it red hot. And then you can simply cut the bottles down and make them whatever size you want them to be. Um, I didn't actually bother to cut more than two of them down because I'm pretty pleased with the way they look just the way they are. So um, you can see here it's pretty easy to cut. Um, and don't do what I just did because that blade was really hot. <laughs> I actually burnt my finger doing that. So um, so you can see here I'm just trimming it up so it's nice and level. And there you go. So I've got a shorter bottle. So, so I've got the little short bottle. And I'll show you compared to the regular size. So, I mean, I don't think it makes a significant difference that you would want to cut them down. But, I mean, it's entirely up to you. Of course, with the glass ones, you can't cut them down. You have to use them the exact size that they come. Otherwise, you'd be cutting your hands up. So, um, so I've got out my glue gun. And I like to fill these up with glue. And the reason why I like to fill them up with glue is, is then it gives a nice level bottom so that they can actually sit on a shelf. So you just kind of insert the nozzle and fill it up with, see how it's filling up here? Fill it up with a little bit of glue and then stick it down to a surface so that it can dry nice and level and flat and it'll have a nice flat bottom. Now I did make a mistake. Now while I'm showing you this, I'm glad I'm showing it to you because I stuck them to paper. And of course, when I pulled them up, they had a wad of paper stuck to the bottom of them, which wasn't ideal. So I ended up going and just sticking the rest of them to my work surface. You can see here the little notification bell there in the corner. I noticed that um, a lot of people, even though I've got so many subscribers, some of my videos don't get as many views. And that's because people haven't uh, clicked the bell or the notification bell. If you do that, then you're notified every time I upload a video, which is super handy. So 
And of course, you know, the more views I get, the better my algorithm. So you can see here, I've got them all stuck to the surface here of my very messy work table. I've been using that uh, work table, that white uh, thing for, oh gosh, years. So it's, it's pretty worn out. I actually do need to get one of those nice green pads that normal crafters use. <laughs> So you can see, like, aren't they perfect little bottles? Like, they're just perfect. So I've got here um, the testers paint out. So when I take them off of the um, the board, I actually take an X-Acto knife and I cut off the excess glue so that all you have is just the plain flat bottom. And then I've got out the little testers paint. And uh, what I'm doing here is, is I'm just painting the lid so it looks like it's got a little fancy lid on it so I mean and you can paint them with any color I prefer the gold because I just thought these bottles kind of looked fancy and I thought gold would be nice but I do have testers in silver as well as copper color so um, yeah so there you go I've laid them on their sides so that uh, the testers paint doesn't drip down and ruin the bottles so you can see here, that's what the completed uh, bottle set looks like. So um, you can see here now, I shouldn't have picked this up because the paint was still wet. And now the paint is running down the side of my bottle. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> but anyways, I still think they're really, really super cute and easy to make. And if you have old Christmas lights, that's even better. Then you don't have to waste any money. But what a great way to use up an old set of Christmas lights. Well, thank you very much for watching today. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification button. Hit the like button. And please leave some comments and share my videos with your friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. And once again, have the best day ever.